Okay. Can you close quarters of this one, right? Eh? All right. Welcome to another episode of Call One Six. The two Super Crusaders travel through the east end of the city, hoping to finally find the best fa. The best fa in the city. Now, on their journey, they came through a few obstacles. For example, Father Thief. Another one. I'm just kidding. We're not putting any of them. All right. Actually, I might keep some of them. I like the whole uh, Crusaders. Oh, I got one. One spoon's enough, buddy. There's a little speckle on that. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fall One Six. We have a very, very special episode for you. I say that because this place, the, uh, its reputation definitely precedes it. I've, uh, I've had numerous recommendations for this spot. Uh, it's Q-Ling. So, here we are today. All right. Q-Ling, East End Toronto. Uh, basically, Toronto is East Chinatown. Um, I don't think anything more has to be said. I think we're gonna, we're probably gonna wrap up Fall One Six as kind of like season one of, yes. um, of Fall One Six because we've almost hit 20 spots, but I'm really glad that we fit this in as episode, I believe, 19. So without further ado, let's just get right, right into it. I was also gonna say, uh, what a great way to wrap up these past, you know, almost 20 spots in Toronto. Uh, we're bringing it to one of the most uh, famous spots. So it's gonna be a really good video. Uh, and again, again, for all our supporters. I don't think I said it, but like, neither of us have ever been to this spot. We came uh, a couple weeks ago, but it was uh, it was closed because they're they are closed on Tuesday. So anyway, uh, let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> Almost dropped his lime. <laughs> the lime farmers everywhere are about to cry, you know? It's a good save though. It's the weirdest lime I've ever seen. I swear there was no juice that came out of <laughs> Whatever. It's a lot of starnies. Some basil for the farmers. You already know what's up. You're, you're getting all the all the herbs in there right off the bat, eh? I always do it. I take a sip and then I just throw it in. I like to give a little bit of a shout out, if that's okay, to my good buddy. Oddly enough, his name's Herbs. <laughs> My buddy Ange as well. Uh, they watch the full and six and all our stuff all the time. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I want to give them a shout out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> all right. Gonna... Oh, 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 oh. Grab some bean sprouts here. It's a tight space, right? It is, but anything for the perfect camera, camera frame, you know? Man, I think I waited too long. We waited too long. Too. Um, 
Last time about was around here. It was definitely called El oh, Henway Three Seasons. That was a good bowl. I think that bowl was better. Seriously. <laughs> really good though. Very thick beef. You can really taste the blood and the juices in the beef. <laughs> can you? I don't know. It's a thicker cut of beef. That's one thing I noticed. Which, if you know me, right? You know I probably lean towards a more thinly cut yeah, beef. Well, also, I don't know if it's because we weighed a little bit, but the drop is in the corner. I like it like bacon. Well, no, mine's still pretty hot. Really good, bro. Really good bowl, by the way. All right. like certain, you'll, certain, you'll notice that I, I didn't put there's certain pieces I can't right a little thicker in that yeah um you'll notice I haven't put a single thing in I'm only now putting in some basil in that. I really actually had to give that broth some time which um I don't know um, a little bit of, I think fits um we got a little bit of us because we don't let like yeah like we don't let what people kind of like I, I do feel like there was a lot of hype in regards to this place don't get me wrong um and i mean the, the people who recommended are definitely like real foodies and all that it's just that now we've been to so many places that like i think we truly know what we're looking for you know and from the first sip the first sip i took i was like oh okay this is really good but i started having more of them like hmm would maybe be better if uh, I could see the flavor could be slightly better. I almost felt felt like it needed maybe a little more salt content. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna really sugarcoat it, right? Pretty good bowl, but it's not like. I don't know where I stand yet. Like every piece of beef I have, I got bloody taste in it. I know it's rare beef, but like, you, I don't know, I'm no expert, but usually it's so piping hot. When they put the beef in, it cooks it so instantly that like, mm -hmm. that's because a lot of the time the beef is paper thin, right? Um, yeah. It's like, I like it rare. But I like it when it's like I like my steak rare anyway. Yeah. You know how you know how like with a cheese steak, how even that can be cooked like where it's just beyond like a rare. Um, but it's so paper thin that it's so like easily just just melts in the mouth, right? Exactly, man. Exactly. So that's what I that's what I look for um, from. From, from the beef in a pot as well. Pretty, like, um, honestly, like, the bowl itself is not it's bad. good. It's not bad. It's good. good. Um, again, like, I don't know where I stand right now. <laughs> this is the reason why we go into the decimals. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> We had a guy actually who, um, rightfully so, kind of questioned, like, and said, like, yo, you guys need to start doing um, round numbers. Like, I don't know if he meant, like, like literally just, like, six, yeah. seven, eight, like, not even point fives. And yeah. I explained to him, I'm like, it goes in increments. <laughs> he was like, what's the difference between an 8.4 and an 8.6? There is... 
there's definitely a difference, right? It depends on what you're reviewing, number one, but there, there is a reason why one bowl of pho is an 8.6, and the other's an 8.9, the other's a 9.3, and the other's a 4.9. Um, and the same for fried chicken as well. But I can't really, I can't really like fully quantify that for you, what the difference between an 8.4 and an 8.6 is, because it just depends on what am I eating, you know? What's in front of me, like maybe the bun on this fried chicken sandwich is better, the, uh, the meat on this one is more juicy, more, more crispy, this and that. So yeah, it really just depends. Um, yeah, I mean, in the area, of course, try it. This is where I go and I put a ton of the saute chili sauce here. Did you, you put this yet? No, but if you look at my water, can you see it's red? Because I dumped like about a half a liter of sriracha. Yeah. Second review of the day. We already did a uh, fried chicken. Really good uh, fried chicken sandwich. Knuckle Sandwich T.O. was the name of the place. Good, really good spot. East York. Okay. And now, of course, it's right where it needs to be with that, with the addition of that saute sauce. It's like amazing now. pieces of beef then I can do it. Yeah and maybe that's just like um maybe that's just a preference thing for us but I feel the same way. Like, <laughs> what this reminds me of a lot is like a um, golden turtle. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and no. It's 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 better than it's better than golden turtle. In your, in your opinion, to me, it's not necessarily. It's definitely better than golden to think that like any. I don't know, man. To get the flavor, you have to put a lot of stuff into it. Well, golden turtle is next level in terms of the amount of stuff you have to put in. <laughs> Aside from the broth though, the biggest kind of like beef too, the downfall, the con, I guess, to this bowl of is just the, the thick of the beef. And the fat, like fatty too, it's not even just thick, right? You get the, the, the yeah. fat. I, like, I think some people actually like that, but not really my thing. I don't know. Well, like, here's the thing, like, it's usually noodles, broth, uh, beef, right? Those are like the things that you, and if two of those things are a little bit off, I mean, it, it wouldn't really justify all the other places we went to that we ripped apart if we're gonna just because it's like a good name to give it a higher score. You know what I mean? I'm like not so, even thinking about what. Yeah, what that's a, that's called. a very good point actually. Yeah, if two of the things are a little it can't be more than a black cluster, then it, that's how you get from a bowl that would have been like an 8.6 or an 8.8, .8, like a 6.8. <laughs> Whoa. Or can I say like, you know, sevens or something, right? But like, but no, nah, but here's, here's my thing. Mm -hmm. If we went to like a random place, right? Like that, I love, uh, no, the, uh, what was it called? That place that was right off of uh, Spadina. It was really bad, you gave it like a, uh, 
Oh, vibe Bun, Bun Saigon. No, not Bun Saigon. It was not Spadina. It was on uh, off of St. George. Or, um, Bluer. Vietnam. I love Vietnam. Or Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam lovely news. Yes. Yeah. So, I just feel as if this was like a place like that, you wouldn't hesitate to throw, throw it in the fives or sixes. But since no, this is a one, that was a really bad ball. This is good. To me, this it's not a good ball. No, it's not. This is not a good ball. Why did you grow? I would go to Hanoi three seasons any day of the week. Any day of the week. I think I would too. The um, I have respect for the beef. You know what it is too? The beef is a bit tough. That's another strike. So then they have all these strikes and they're still going to get thrown in the sevens? Like that's what I don't understand. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm justifying. I can't even justify this as, as like a high six. Like it's probably one of the worst bulls I've ever had. Literally, you're being guys. I'm, I'm literally, um, I'm just as surprised as some of some of you. Um, no, don't get me wrong. It's not. This is my like opinion. I don't know. All right, should we, should we just get to the score then? I don't know. Like, is there anything you want to add about this that you like? I guess I don't know. Um, I, I do like some of the broth. Like, if I if it was just judging it on the broth, like the broth was pretty good. And, um, Without anything in it. Okay, when I say no, no, you're sorry, sorry, sorry. When I would say it was pretty good, it was about the level of a hair better than golden turtle. Okay, respectable. Okay. And then you'll now remember the that there was some there was some things also with golden turtle that brought the score down too. Right? True. So. Here's, here's here's a few things. I like it better than faux pasteur. Yeah, you you sum it up. Sum it up. I like it better than faux pasteur. I like it better than. Uh, for the feet, right? I love. It. I like it a lot better than uh, Vietnam Lovely Noodle. Okay, I'm gonna cut in for a second. I like it more than Bun Saigon. Yeah, no, I agree. It's still, and I gave Bun Saigon a 6.9. Okay, so that'll give you an idea of where Here's, I'm probably going. Tell me if you agree on this. To me, for me, it's an okay bowl. Okay. Out of the heat of the moment. Obviously, a few moments ago, I was a little heated, but Anyways, to be 100% honest, I would have to give it a 7.2 out of 10. Mm -hmm. That's the score. I think that's the highest I could go. Mm -hmm. Like, and be, being honest with myself. Not bad. Not the best. For me, I like the sweetness of the, the brow. Don't get me wrong. When I start tasting it on the actual noodle, yo, let me put it this way. I, I plan on going to Vietnam soon, maybe in 2020. And we've had a lot of pho, right? And we've had some really great pho, like places like, you know, pho lin, pho brothers. I still would say on down, pretty great. Uh, pho Kham Bao, these places, right? Um, if I were to go to Vietnam and find out that uh, this is how this is more like how they make it there, then if I, would, I, then I, would if I was like, oh wow, I guess they do it with this thick cut of beef over here, and, you know, and the and the broth isn't as flavorful and this and that. I'd be very disappointed. Don't get me wrong; I probably still love Vietnam. Um, and maybe this type of style of pho, which actually, for all I know, might be more yeah. like they make pho over in Vietnam. Yeah. I, but you know, I don't. I don't know, right? But um, yeah, I would be slightly to begin with. I'd be slightly disappointed. The, for me, the um, the cut of beef though was really where they lost. That's really where they lost the points. Uh, it was too thick, which ended up being a little bit tough and uh, just not not that like just easily like I shouldn't have to think about chewing the beef as much no, while I'm sure. having a bowl of pho. Right? For sure, I didn't order a, a piece of steak or like a piece of like uh, prime rib or something. Right? Exactly, right. So um, you know, 
um, I like it paper thin. Um, broth, first sip I was like, oh, yeah, pretty good, right? But then I found it to be a little lackluster. And then, you know, definitely, and definitely one that you would uh, need to definitely put some of the sake sauce or uh, maybe some, you know, chili oil and that kind of thing. Um, so you gave a, a seven to you know, the uh, the really uh, the really funny thing about that is uh, my score is a seven point one. So, well, and I actually thought that you were gonna go lower than me. Well, but, you're, you're gonna be on that. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, this is a uh, review from two, uh, you know, people who aren't, you know, experts in uh, Vietnamese food or pho, so it's all subjective, right? This could be some okay, favorite like, spot. <laughs> I don't know. That's a fair enough statement, but let's also give ourselves a little bit of credit now. We've, we've tried a lot of pho, man. And you can't, you just can't kid yourself. No, no, no. Um, Wait, is she, do you know what, man? Like, I, the, the first score that was coming to mind in the beginning, it was almost a point higher. Like, I was probably almost going to drop an 8 1. But as I really just judged this girl for what it is, for what it is without all of the right. reputation, hype, and all this, like, too many people that say this is their favorite spot. Hey, you know what? Well, that's cool and all, but. Know, like, Remember PG clubs? Remember how I had to like take myself out of the whole like okay I know this is everywhere on Instagram and on you know Toronto life this and that but you gotta actually think of uh, think of it for what it is right you have to make your own opinion so that's why like I guess we both agreed here where it's, yeah it has a lot of hype but that doesn't mean it's best yeah and I mean a seven one seven two still a good score is still a really good score so probably like you know what i've been doing lately is like if we usually just round it out so if uh you know if you had given a, a 7.3 and i'd given a 7.1 it would have been a 7.2 probably what i'll do in this case is just give it the lower score because i think the pretty accurate 7.1 it is still really good it's still not bad it's the kind of place i would uh, probably come to again if i was in the area yeah, maybe depends if the other places. I like the vibe. Well, oh, the vibe's like, cool. It, this, it's just this little like it almost seems like it was at one point like a house or something like that that they just converted, just a little house that they converted into a, a kitchen a restaurant. So I like that. Uh, I like that kind of homely uh, feeling to it. Um, really cool vibe. But <laughs> I have to add one thing. Yeah, sorry, I've been talking so much. All good. A lot of the times, you go once, it's hard to get an accurate score. So, for all those lovers of this place, we may try this in the future again. So, maybe just today was a little yeah. bit off, right? I'm always open to seeing how things are another day. That's right? that's also true because a bowl of fun. What I've come to realize is, um, with restaurant, with a, with a Vietnamese restaurant, there are points throughout the day where they have a better bowl of pho because the pot itself is at its like kind of like prime point you know because they're adding things throughout the day adding a bit of salt adding a bit of water and this and that when you get to the end of the day apparently what happens is the broth gets like even more saturated with salt and all this so what i've found is and one of the best places to, to judge this by is pho lin. When you have pho lin at lunchtime, from about noon till about 3 p.m., 4 p.m., it is the the best bowl of pho you've had in your life. I've been there a couple times in the evening, and it was still a good bowl, but not the 9.1 or 2 that we gave it in the review. Facts, so, so maybe we're just at the end of the pot, but I have hope maybe it could, it could maybe, you know, bounce back, maybe go on a better bowl. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs>
Anyway, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Fun One Six. Join us next time. Um, I think we're, we're maybe going to do like one more, then we're going to wrap this up as a season. But we will be back with season two of Fun One Six. Okay, happy thanks, New Year, guys. guys.